So in case you don't know Gcam 8.8 is finally released and with the new version which is having some of the great features which I'll talk about in this video. Gcam videos I mostly share on my other channels so if you haven't checked it out yet you can check out and this time this is Gcam 8.8 and the developer is Shamim as you can see this is SGCam. Some of the things and features we'll talk about in this video so stay tuned for that. First of all the thing is this is Gcam 8.8 as far as I know it's initial version the, the thing is it's kind of not that stable it's stable but it's not that stable so this might be buggy in your case if you are facing any kind of bugs don't worry the things will be fixed in the upcoming updates you can see you have the google lens support if you move on to these options modes options you will see the google lens so that's good and it's working perfectly fine here although if i try portrait mode it is working fine too portrait is working camera mode is working although video mode has kind of bugs when i set my frames per seconds to 60 frames per second that sometimes doesn't work but it's completely fine when you use the auto mode so that's good we have the astrophotography support it's there you only have the option to do off this or want to use auto mode but you don't have the option to force on this one also if you move on to one more thing which is one of my favorite things actually you have the option to change the interface which will basically unlock some of the features and yes these features will not work if your device does not support them you can see it has the motion option available which was not available previously we just enabled that pixel 7 pro interface that is why this option is now existed you also have same kind of options in portrait etc lens switching is as expectedly super fast if you move on to this camera option you will be able to notice we have the macro focus option available which was not available previously and same like that we have a cinematic blur unfortunately these things are actually device specific so i don't think so these will work on every device but the user interface just looks amazing also the thing is uh, if you move on to this gcam 8.8 you will see video stabilization options you need to turn it on from settings by the way when you turn it on this is one of my favorite features when you shoot video you need these kind of things standard locked active or cinematic pen four options are available this version also supports the upscaling photos option and uh, you can adjust these things according to your preference what value you want to adjust or if you don't want to interface if you don't want to interfere with these kind of things simply skip this thing it's not for your choice if you move on to the few stuffs and customization options or additional settings you will see there are many options which you can customize the previous version the gcam 8.8 which i shared with you that was good but unfortunately Unfortunately, in that version, there were no major customizations and this is by a very respectful developer and the features are super good. A lot of features are already included. It also have the option for OIS, which is a very useful thing. Things are pretty much impressive. As I just mentioned, this might be buggy in your case. Things might work on your device. Things might not. Link for this APK file is already available in the description. Install the APK file and done. Also, as expectedly, this DCAM supports XML files. So if you have XML, you can try out that. I don't have any XML right now. But if you have, you can try out those XML too. And you might be able to increase the camera quality. I'm not sure. But yes, this is it. Thanks for watching. Link is already available in the description. Make sure to like this video. Goodbye.